let's go ahead and get started on the project. What you will need to finish this project is first, let's go over the paints we'll be using. The paints, um, the first color is in blings, and the color is Island Salsa. Really fun, bright orange color. Then also I'm going to be using the Shimmers paints in Candlelight. And we're going to use this as um, a resist type paint. Then I'll also be using Vibes in Rolling in the Hay. And last but not least, we will be using the Colorings. Um, it's a limited edition. And this color is Heidi Ho Blue. One of my favorites. You also need a stamp. This is a rubber stamp. This is, I believe, Studio Calico. Um, your background paper. This is Heyday by Studio Calico. A nice screen. I'm also going to be using some canvas, but I'm not going to be using solid pieces. I'm going to be using the shreds that come off, the fibers that come off the edge. And then some flowers and some lettering just to add some um, different details to the page. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what I'm going to do is I want to create a little contrast on my background. So I'm going to take the Shimmers paints in Candlelight and my mask, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get all of the paint on the bottom of my little um, well shaken up. I'm going to take a paintbrush. Actually, for this one, I'm going to use a sponge. I'm just going to use a little makeup sponge, just like this little foam squared ones. I'm just going to dab it right into our little paint jar. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of take the excess off. And then I'm just going to dab over the top of our screen. I want it somewhat heavy because I do want it to act as a resist. I want that nice shimmer. Um, in the paint, so I want to make sure I get an, a nice amount. I'm just doing it kind of sporadically. So I have over a the pretty page. good little um, design going with our screen and our shimmers paints, and you could somewhat see where I had put the the paint onto my background. So next, what I'm going to do is I want to kind of take my picture and simulate the color scheme that is in the background of the sunset. So I'm going to take my rolling in the hay and I'm going to just spray across just like that. And then I'm going to kind of take the blue, the Heidi Ho blue across the top. See where our candle, uh, candlelight shimmers paints created a resist for us on the background, which is pretty cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our blings in Island Salsa and I'm going to go ahead and paint it directly onto my rubber stamp. Now all you will need, I'm going to use my little sponge again since I already have it out and paint on it. So I'm just going to dab that in there. I don't need a really thick coat. I also don't want the entire stamp over to be without a stamp block. And I'm going to go ahead, stamp down my center and kind of do the edges. I don't want it completely perfect. And then go ahead and lift that off. So that fun, creates a fun little focal point for our photo. Go ahead and wipe this off. Make sure that you clean your stamps and your paintbrushes really well. This is a water-based paint, but you do want to make sure that you get everything cleaned off. So next what I'm going to do, I have my little background created, so I want to change a few of our little embellishments we're going to use. So I like the sunset effect, and I'm going to do the same thing on our flowers. So, and cut these in half. You really only need like one large and one medium sized flower for this just like that. So I'm going to lay them all out. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to spray them with the yellow. And I'm going to spray them with the blue. Kind of soak up some of it. It's going to have like a green um, 
turn out because of the two colors blending together. This one got really wet. You can see that one right there. I'll probably use this one. Kind of soak up some of the other paint off of my mat. You could do a lot of color combinations blending your mists together. You may not have the exact color that you want, but if you look in your little set, you may have two shimmer, shimmer paints or vibes or colorings that will blend together to make that correct color tone or palette that you're looking for. Okay, so we have these nice and colored. I'm going to go ahead and blot all of this off so we can move on to our next step. Put these aside for a sec. Okay. Then I have my canvas piece. Now canvas, you, you know, that has a really um, loose seam or a loose knit to it. So what you could do is on the, um, with the grain, you could pull off some of these fun little fibers. And I've been really addicted to them lately. And what I'm doing is I'm just pulling a few of them off. Okay, just like that. And I want to make a little nest, I guess you could call it, to set my photo on. So what I'm going to do next, take my little bundle of canvas shreds, kind of set it right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of our salsa, island salsa, and kind of splat that on top of my page and over my little nests. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little beacon adhesive, liquid fabric adhesive, kind of towards the center just to tack it down a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely glued down. I just want a spot to where it'll hold it in place until I get my picture on top of it. Make sure you don't get your finger stuck in it. Just like that. I know it's kind of hard to see with it far away. Just a fun little texture. It's um, easy to come by. You could take regular fabric and do the same thing or even twine or um, trim that you are not trim but twine or thread that you already have on hand I'm going to take a couple just a couple of our little flowers and lay those over the top as well make sure that my photo is still going to be the focal point let's move these out just a little tack these down with glue And I'm going to pop my photo up with three-dimensional square, just like that. And you can even use these fun techniques when creating card backgrounds or mini albums on a smaller surface area. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.